and welcome to my channel. My name is Autumn Embers and today I am building a big Halloween build. Yes, I am. I am building a vampire manor. Now, I first started building this around about four months ago. <gasps> I know, so long ago. Uh, but don't worry, I wasn't building this for four months. That would be all blaming it, mate. But no. I'll get on to that later part I've been sitting on this for four months, okay? But let's talk about why I was building this. Why was I building this, you say? Well, about four months ago, like I said, I was feeling a bit stagnant. I was feeling a bit dead in the water. I've been building quite a lot of, like, cute, family, suburban-friendly looking homes with lots of pastel colours and it all being so lovely and happy-wappy. And I just wanted to shake it up a little bit. Do so that makes me happy. And you know what makes me happy-wappy? Spooky, supernatural, creepy, scary-looking things. Yes, I love Halloween and anything to do with it. So um, I went on to Pinterest, which is what I would normally do when I want to build something, but I don't know how to go about it. So I went on to Pinterest and probably typed in something along the lines gothic builds, uh, creepy builds, scary builds, or supernatural builds. And I found a couple of pictures that I quite liked. I then chose the bits that I did like about them, like, um, I don't know, the roofing or um, a certain bit about the build or the, the aesthetic that they've gone for or, I don't know, bits about the build that I quite liked and I just picked what I liked and just put them together and made like a Frankenstein kind of build, which is what I would normally do for my builds. And I drew it down and... I had sort of like a good idea of what I wanted to build. Despite that, it did take me a few turns uh, to get the build that you see at the very end. So, um, I also wanted to build a something that was just like an old looking house, creepy looking house. Most people would just walk past it and just think it think it's just an old house that we have in our town or in our village it's been passed through the generations that's why you never see it for sale and it's just a creepy old looking house where some people go no 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 there there's been stories about this house and yes there have so it goes like this so there was a family living in this but manner they were up to mischief and they caught the eye of a witch the witch then cursed them and turned them into blood-sucking vampires the vampires became very thirsty and so they went on the hunt for some blood they were then then they were sucking some blood and they got very power hungry they got the blood for lust the luster for blood and they got very sort of into it and they're like oh okay quite like this quite like this I want more of this. I don't want to drink people. I actually want more from it. I want more from this. And so they went on a rampage all of them. There was so much screaming and chaos. And they drew attention to the people in the town and in the village. And the village people, the village people, why him? <laughs> no, the town people, let's go for town people. And the town people grabbed their pitchforks and set their set them alight and then stormed the manor and they couldn't and they could find no vampires inside because the vampires stowed away in the secret pastures underneath the manor where they secretly where they hoped and prayed, which is a weird thing to say about vampires, but okay. But no vampires could be so like no no. So they hoped and prayed that they wouldn't be found upon staying in their secret passageways and so the village no not village people so the townspeople then walked away thinking oh okay they ran away did they cowards and so they just shut the doors and just forgot about it they buried their dead and just got on with it because you know what if other villages and towns found out if they had supernaturals living in there or they had the living dead what would they think what would they do with them so they didn't mention anything they kept stum they kept quiet whilst the vampires living in the passageways some of them ran away far away to pennsylvania because for 
yep, that's a stereotypical kind of vampire place. They went to gospel there. But no, some of the other vampires stood their ground. They stayed there. They went, no, I am not being chased away by some mortal I oh, know chicken nuggets, and I'm not. I've been. I'm not. I'm not going anywhere. They got a bit sassy. Like, no, honey, I ain't going. I ain't going nowhere. I'm not being ashamed for who I am. I stay where I am. Don't know why that's in America accent, okay? But they stayed where they were, and they stayed living here in the vampire manor. <laughs> and then someone say, "Oh, that sounds. That sounds about right." Cause my friend Sally, she said she saw something creepy going on. She said. She saw like a ghost roaming around the uh, the garden. She said, "Yes, yeah, she said that." <gasps> oh, did she now? Oh, no! Uh, the other one comes longer. What are you talking about? They're destroyed. And what Sally saw? She must have just been hungry. Okay, she just wanted something to eat, and she was hallucinating. The brain is a powerful thing, and she just, just she saw what she what she wanted to see. Okay, you know, oh, okay. Someone got on the wrong side of the bed, okay? Alright. And so that that's what I wanted to do, okay? I want to make it something that there was sort of like controversy around it. There were so many stories and no one knew what to sort of like believe about what actually going on in this manner. So that's what also I wanted to build about four months ago. Now, now you're probably thinking, oh my mouth, you're not thinking that. Oh, sorry, I've done this voice several times. <laughs> Out of my jawline. Okay, okay, four months ago, that's probably thinking, okay, well, how and why did this take four months? Like I said, I was not building this for four months, okay? I know I can take some time when building, but four months is a long time, okay? So, um, I built the build, as you do. Uh, so, uh, I built the build. It took me quite a long time to do, do uh, to like do the exterior, the interior, all the garden, all the moat. Um, so it took me a long time to do the exterior. It took me several attempts to do the exterior. I filmed this in parts, and it took me several t attempts to do the interior. Because every time I looked back at it and went back, I just went. Mmm, okay, there's something missing. They need something else. It it wasn't sitting right with me, there's something wrong with it, and I, I just kept sort of like chipping at it. Even today, uh, when I'm doing this voiceover, I was even sort of like adding to it. it could, I think it's one of these builds where you just keep adding to it and adding to it and adding to it, because there's, there's, there's nothing, I don't know, there's something about it, it didn't feel complete. Because it's an old house, it probably have lots of stuff in it. And I was just looking at it, why, why doesn't this look complete? I don't know. And so um, I kept adding to it and adding to it and adding to it. Um, there's probably still some stuff that I've probably missed and that I could go back to. But no, it's Halloween, I'm doing this voice out on Halloween. So it needs to go out today because it's a Halloween build. Um, and also, um, like I said, the gardening took a long time because it is on a 64 by 64 lot. Yes, it is. It is the biggest lot we have in the game. And I struggle to do a garden on a 20 by 15 lot. So you can imagine what I was thinking and feeling when I was going, oh my goody baldy, I've got to take away a 20, no, not put a 20, 64 by 64 garden. What am I doing? <laughs> I'm so easy. What do I do? Uh, so, um, I wanted this house to be surrounded by trees like a wood. Um, so I pop some trees down. I do pop in some more trees because it's looking a bit sparse at the moment. And um, throughout the four months, I was watching other people and what they did with builds. And I saw a build where I don't know. If they, I don't think they did it on a sixty-four by sixty-four lot, but they did a build. It was like a creepy, swampy build, and it was quite immersive. And so, um, when I was doing the garden, I wanted the garden to be quite immersive. It's on a sixty-four by sixty-four lot, so why not? <laughs> that rhymes. Um, 
So I want to be quite immersive. Immersive means quite a lot of trees, quite a lot of stuff. And I'm so grateful for the live edit objects because there are a lot of live edit objects in the garden. There are lots of trees and plants. So don't be alarmed if you download this from the gallery and you see your sims walking through the some of the foliage. Um, also another thing that took me a long time because I do build a moat around this, a spooky build, um, and filled it with a uh, red liquid. Um, in my mind it is uh, red glucose. Um, you might think it's blood. I mean, well, you know, why not? It could be jelly, it could be jam, <gasps> it could be baked beans without the beans. It, oh, it could be beetroot because my dad has some beetroot yesterday and I'm like, oh that looks like blood so it could be like a like a, a moat filled with beetroot you know or it could be it could be it could be something else um so like i said i built this moat and i was like okay it's a deep moat because i built it out of a swimming pool i built a basement then i made a swimming pool because you can, you're not allowed to uh, put a pond in a basement so if you want a moat you have to go along the route of a, a pool so this moat was very deep and at the time we only had four rocks um, which is a bit of a shame because how many packs do we have now and how many rocks do we have I know we have the live ed edit objects but at the time there were no such thing as edit objects. None of us knew anything about edit live edit objects, okay? And so I was looking at this moat and okay, what do I do now? I've got this moat, it's quite deep, it's quite bad wall. Even though I had painted it with like a stone wall, the same stone wall that you see on the uh, manor here. I was like, okay, what do I do? Do I, I fill it from like wall to ceiling with those for rocks that we have that's going to take me a very long time to do I've done it before it looks great but it takes time or do I I don't know decorate the edge of the um of the moat with rocks and fill it fill it in that way so it doesn't look too sparse and so that's mainly the reason why I'm sitting on this pill for so long for so long because it's like <laughs> I don't want to deal with the rocks of the garden because um i think i binge watched the chilling ventures of, Sp of sabrina whilst doing the garden for this manor and by the time i finished binge watching sabrina the gardens were still not done that's how big this garden was um i also shuffled the uh the build slightly fur further closer to the edge of the lot just so um I just so that there wasn't as much gardening to do to like cut it off a little bit so that's what took me so long to do i also when it was finally done i was like yes it's finally done your heart but um so i put my sim in there just to play test it just to see anything that i put in there worked and my sim got into the manor quite happily she walked in and was like yes it works it works <laughs> But um, when I was just testing out like bits from the garden because I did ma manipulate the train a little bit so it wasn't just like a flat lot and then like a cliffy edge with a manor on top. I did manipulate the train. I also felt a bit sad that I hadn't used the uh, terrain tools um, in, in a quite long time. So I used some terrain tools and using train tools uh, your objects like will float uh, so plants will float and you can't push them down any further some objects will no longer work and so um when i went to get my sim to see if she can walk around parts of the garden she was struggling I was like no i spent this so long on our garden that my sim can no longer walk around why <laughs> so i spent a very long time trying to flatten out the bits that did sort of like have like benches on them or they had like a voodoo doll with a, be a bench with a voodoo doll on them or they had like um 
wishing wells on them so i spent a very long time sort of flattening it out but making sure it has a bit of interest in it and, and it has sort of like oh wow that's nice and um it took me a very long time this i do apologize there is a bit to the right of the garden garden yeah sure there's a bit to the right of the garden where uh, there is a lamp uh, a bench and some gardening pots and i flattened it out it looks kind of flat we ha also have those sort of like grids that says it's flat but uh, my sim refuses to walk on it so i spent a lot of time trying to flatten out those bits making sure those items that are usable are now usable so i spent a lot of time doing that i also spent a lot of time trying to figure out why why oh why oh why my sim who was quite happily walking from h to b to h to b sort of from the front of the house but the entrance was to the manor she managed to do that easy peasy then a couple minutes later she's now refusing to even walk outside the manor I was like okay all right i sorted out the terrain now she won't go back in what is wrong so um i went back in with the terrain tools um eventually she told me what was in her way because sometimes they go julia yeah. she's like okay you got something in your way but you're not telling me what it is finally she told me what it was in that thought bubble um it t she told me there was sort of like a tree stump was in the way which was like a live edit object it's like okay right we have one over here we have one over there there's one right over there i've sold the build and i i moved them i deleted them no she was still saying douliage at me so I'm, <laughs> oh what is in your way now there is no tree stump in your way what is your problem so um i was just trying to flatten out the terrain once more and i went a little bit too quick i put the speed a little bit too quickly and lo and behold was that live edit object which and it was underneath the ground um I was fiddling with the secret passageways that are in the basement but as I was in the basement you could not see the the object that she was complaining about it was not there okay so that uh, I don't know how it got there okay um I don't know how it got there I did replace this build because it was glitching out slightly so I thought it might have been that um, so it might have just been um, replacing it and then an object sort of like found, found itself down there because sometimes when you place bills from the gallery some objects do move um, so it could have been that but I could have just easily misplaced the object and put it there I, 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 I can't see how it would have got there because there would be no point but why would I put a tree stump in a secret passageway there is no point of it being there so that took a while to figure out i was getting very stressed um <laughs> oh my goldy baldy i was getting very stressed you know you know the type of stress by like other people's voice and the speaking and just like the te telly was like getting on you know i was at that point okay because I took so long doing this build and now my sim was complaining that something was in a way that I couldn't see but it works now like I said I'll do a point there is that my sim couldn't walk over to the right hand side but I don't know if your sim can this rug changes because um like i said whenever i kept going back to where i was like there was always something that i could do or make make better so the rug was one of them um because i did the wizard's lair i did a wizard's lair and in the wizard's lair i discovered the um get famous rug it's all like a round rug and there's all like lots of different swatches for it for all oh, that's quite nice you know but that will look good this build right i do uh, i have a little present for you yes i do right the room of the um living room right next to the piano i did not know what to do with that so i've left it blank it's for you because i thought that would be a nice prezi for you and so you can now think of what you can do with that lovely little blank room because 
it couldn't be a bathroom because there is a bathroom right by the uh the study with the secret passageway and the and the kitchen of okay they can't be a um a bathroom i don't think i wanted to change that bathroom by the kitchen to a laundry room because old vampire manners and laundry washing machines don't really go into go together like oil and water they just don't go what are you doing today um I don't know what's a vampire name. I oh, know that's good for that. What are you doing, Vlad? Oh, I'm just washing me, me what, me blacks as you do. I'm just gonna put them out. What? No, vampires don't do washing. Okay, they don't. They don't. They don't all like clean out the lint. They don't. They don't do that. They creep about. Okay, they're afraid of garlic. They creep about. They suck your blood, and they're evil. They don't. They don't go go washing your clothes. So I didn't put that, I, so that's why I didn't put a laundry room in and that's why that that little odd room by the piano is not a bathroom. So feel free to figure out what you want to do with that because I had no idea. Um, or oh, if you do download this, help this money, so I say, off the gallery it is quite a bit it's around the six thousand mark okay it's quite a bit of money is that it is the most expensive thing that i have ever created in the sims 4 but i'm kind of quite quite proud of because woo it's quite hard you would think it'd be quite easy to spend so much money but people who've done the one million t challenge have said it's quite hard to fill up a house and make it one million so for the fact that i've made the most expensive house that i've ever made including this one match in the original version it's quite a big achievement for me so yay but because it's so flipping big and expensive you might have problems um with downloading it from from the gallery but if your game if your laptop does that quite quickly then you might have a bit of problem with saving it because i i had a bit of problem with saving it not because um it, it, it it's more of that it took quite some time so if you're on the rush which i was um you just want to sort of like if you're being a rush this is not a house to be saving because I was in a rush and I thought, okay, this is not going to take long. Normally when I save games, they save it quite quickly. But this took some time and we, I thought it was going to be late for, for the restaurant. But we weren't, so it was all fine. But just, you know, keep in mind if you download this house when you're saving, it will take some time probably because it is quite big. It has quite a lot of detail on here. Um, at the moment it's not quite as detailed because normally what I like to do is sort of like get like the basics down and then go for myself stop stop recording and then detail it because otherwise it would take so long um so apologies if it takes some time to either download the house from the gallery or to save your progress if you're playing with this house I would love to see if you do play with this house because like I said there's so much detail I do put in secret passageways secret passageways I don't know if I told you this so apologies if I'm repeating myself so the secret passageway is at the front of the house um, there are two doors there is one to the left I've just left that empty so um, you can lock that door and then there's a door to the right that is the secret passageway door that you have some stairs there's sort of like a waterfall there's some water features down there then it will lead you to more stairs and then it will lead you to some of the more basic coffins now if you want more fancy elaborate coffins they are kept underneath the manor so to get to that you need to go to the first study on the ground floor there is a bookcase you go down some stairs there are some like foliage and some water and you go some more stairs and more stairs and then you get to this chamber with their fancy pantsy coffins and um i think you see some of it i did have quite i did have to cut quite a bit out because it this video is about 30 minutes long and it is the longest video for this channel ever well it even if you include mid 
Midnight Bubbles, which is my last giant. This is the longest video ever. So, um, yeah, in that you have a little vampire fancy chamber. They have a little sort of like fountain. They have a fireplace. They have lots of curtains. They have a little uh, Get Famous rug trim. That took me ages to do because um, I was placing them slightly off centre where they like to naturally click. Um, so that took me a long time to do. Um, I didn't. I took pictures of both studies, but because they're quite small rooms, they were quite hard to uh, take photographs of them. Oh, and as I was play testing this and taking photographs, my vampire doll person she set up set herself alight, and so. If you do download this house, there might be like a burnt patch from one of the fireplaces. I apologise, I apologise for the mistake of my vampire doll for being so stupid. Okay? She also did another fight because she was living with, with someone, uh, with my other playtesting sim. And she, she somehow, she's a, mm, mm, not playtesting with her because she keeps setting my builds alight. So this is the fancy pantsy, um secret passageway that at the, at the back there is the, where the chamber is um put i do elaborate on this quite a bit um off screen because like i said i went back to it and just kept adding bits to it i couldn't stop um so oh look 26 minutes i've managed to talk all the way through right i'm gonna ask you a quick question okay since it's halloween do you guys comment in the section below if you wanna comment in section in below but do you believe in ghosts okay because i believe there's got to be more than just this okay they've got there's got to be more than just waking up in the morning having your breakfast eating your cereal go in the shower go to work get your hand squashed by someone leaning against the the pole on the train and being hit in the stomach with someone's bag there's got to be more than just that okay it's got to be more, there's got to be more than just that, getting up in the morning, going to work, eating dinner, go to sleep, get up in the morning, go to work, go to sleep. It's got to be more than that, it's got to be, okay? So, so that is why I believe in ghosts. Um, I believe in ghosts more than I do green alien people that have several eyes and that say live long prosper at me because I have a story. Hmm! Sorry, people were talking loudly. So, I have a story, okay? Some people don't believe it, but I do, because it happened in my room, okay? So, um, it happened quite recently, where I was doing a quick voiceover for my, um, Fuedo challenge, uh, for the cast, and, um, I did it very quickly in between going to shopping, I had a bit of time, and my mum was upstairs, then she came downstairs, she didn't go anywhere near my room because my door was, uh, closed, because I was doing a voice over, um, I then, I then, so I saved it, I shut down my laptop, I left the chair quite far back from the, uh, from the dressing table which I'm which I normally use for uh, recording and I quickly uh, put my shoes and brushed my teeth and went out to do some food shopping now I have this little bag sitting on my dressing table it's just on the uh, one the drawn draw door knobs yes and um, it's filled with little like plastic uh, uh, cellophane not cellophane sellotape balls and it was placed when I came back it was placed on my chair now there is no point of me placing this little bag on my chair so I think that's good so but um I'm gonna leave you guys here enjoy your Halloween if you're watching this Halloween happy Halloween and um hopefully I'll see you again soon and please like and subscribe <laughs> no please do okay okay thank you and goodbye